Hey guys, this is the Fort Worth Glock guy, and I wanted to share with you this Duracell flashlight that I picked up from Costco probably four or five months ago. So this review is long overdue. Um, so it is the Duracell Durabeam Ultra. Claims to have a thousand lumens. Uh, there are three beam settings, high, low, and strobe. It is a product of China. So if you want to check out those stats, pause for a second, check them out. So there are the three beam settings right there, high, low, and strobe. It just cycles through by push of a button. And to kind of give you a little overview of it, the button is a tail cap. And you can see right there the bezel and the LED. And the way that you adjust the beam, it is adjustable just like the old school mag light, um, is push and pull. So you can kind of see how the bulb reflects in there. So it does throw kind of a strange uh, beam. So I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. Overall, I think it's a decent flashlight, especially for the lumens and especially for the price. I mean, you're paying 15 bucks for this, so this is not a high dollar, but I do believe it is a high value flashlight. So just wanted to show that with you. Um, it is comparable to the old school mag light and this is a two cell D and this is a four cell C. So there you go. So I'm going to cut here and we're going to check out the beam throws. Okay. So I'm going to start out with the old school mag light. So the old school mag light with the incandescent bulb shines like that. Okay, now I'm going to upgrade to the LED version. So there's the beam on it, wide and focused. And now we're going to show you the Duracell. So there's the wide, you can see the beam on this is quite a bit brighter. And I like the flood on this because it's very even. This is what is very weird about this particular flashlight. Let me get it into focus here. Is it's a square, which is kind of odd. I don't know if you can really tell that up close. You can probably tell it a little bit better. So you can actually see the LED in the beam shot. So there it is. If that doesn't bother you, I mean, it is a decently bright light. I really do like the flood. I'm just not a real big fan of the spot. So it starts out in high mode, then you click the tail cap once and it goes to a low mode, which is nice. And then you click it one more time, it goes into a strobe mode and then it turns off. So the downside of that is you do have to cycle through all three. You can't go directly into off mode you know, from the high, you have to go to low, then you have to go to strobe before you can turn it off. So that's another kind of downside of it. So the cons to this, I would say, is the square, which is a little bit weird. And then that you have to cycle through all three of those modes. But to do a little side by side, again, here is the LED version compared to the Duracell version. So it is quite a bit brighter. And then to compare it to the old school <laughs> mag light, 
there is no comparison. So, there you go. Just thought I'd share with you this Duracell. Here we go, Duracell. And the throw on this is actually pretty well. Um, I might run out back real quick and just to show you what it can do outside. And I'm gonna make this real quick. The wall that I'm shining at is probably about 40 feet away from me. This is the old school Mac light that we are all familiar with. This is the upgraded LED version. And then this is the Duracell. So you can tell the spot on that is very high intensity. And then I'm gonna... <laughs> That's my backyard. So the beam on that is pretty impressive. So if you're looking for a very budget friendly light this is a good option for you so again i found this at costco for about 15 bucks so not a bad little light low strobe and off so thanks for watching forest clock guy out